like Mad Max. Uh, yep, good segue right there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> An apocalyptic Call of Duty would be freaking awesome, though, with like would, scrounging yeah. weapons and stuff. Yeah, right? really that would be would. really cool. That would be I awesome. like that idea. But speaking of Mad Max, um, it revealed its first gameplay trailer about four minutes going in depth and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think it looks really sweet it and looks really cool. Incredible. Yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> yeah. I've heard um, somebody compare it to almost Shadow of Mordor. How it's a game coming out soon that you know people assumed it was going to be like oh, okay but it's actually looking to be really freaking good yeah. mm-hmm. and comparing it to the combat because it looks very much like yeah. um the batman it's type like the, of combat which i don't yeah. care any game can copy that as much as they want that combat in set, game settings like this i think is just beautiful and it works mm-hmm. flawless the, like the counters copy it all you want i love it the counters are like perfect yeah what's I great is not they don't just straight up copy it because shadow of mordor i mean it copied the 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 like vanilla version of Batman's combat, but it added all its own yeah, flares yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, totally. And stuff. The only thing similar between that and Batman was, it was literally the, the attack and counter. Exactly. That's it. So that's I, I'm not saying like completely copy Batman, and I'm mm-hmm. sure you're not saying that yeah, as well. No. But just the overall mechanic of the counter attack system mm-hmm. is just really really good. Like yeah. it's mm-hmm. it's really it's won me over, especially as like the best third person action stuff yeah. and wb keeps implementing that into like mm-hmm. all their They're games smart. <laughs> yeah because yeah, it works and nobody complains about it really because it's so freaking fun is the yeah. witcher so, like that no no, no. Witcher, witcher was a witcher, little more strategic so. witcher is very strategic you have signs and stuff to use and how do you magical. attack in that game what, what witcher? is it yeah i think x okay i don't remember it might just be curious. it might change <laughs> i don't know um but uh yeah, so uh, some gameplay um, things for Mad Max, some little things that I wrote down and stuff. Apparently, it's got a uh, like a food system almost that mm-hmm. like you actually need um, food and water or yeah, something to survive. like that. Yeah, that's kind of um, cool. If you give me like five seconds, I'll find this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a little. I think I got this like <laughs> off IGN. Um, uh, food and water, which are both used to replenish Max's health, will be scarce when you're low on health. And out of food, look look towards the sky. Sky, you'll see like birds circling, which will mean there are bodies down by, okay, which are covered cool. by maggots. Which maggots oh. are a good source of protein, if you guys didn't know. Wow. Yeah, you can eat the maggots. That sounds cool. appetizing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And there's <laughs> absolutely no vegetation on this planet because it's completely effed. So just mm-hmm. go eat maggots, which so I'm that's assuming. That's the dream. Yeah, that's the dream. <laughs> or I'm eat assuming, other people. Yeah, which uh, in the trailer, I thought that's what he was doing. I don't know if y'all saw, he like dipped his hand into a dude and like yeah, yeah, he yeah. ate it. I'm assuming those were maggots. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, he was eating out of a can, I think. Oh, I thought it was a dude. I don't know if it was food <laughs> or if it was just that's a That's a pre-order <laughs> bonus is dog food. Hmm. So I guess you can eat dog like a, food. Like a consumable? Um, I guess. Avalanche wants to make sure others such as fuel can be easily found. We want resources to be scarce. So I'm assuming if there's fuel... Are cars operated by fuel? That's pretty interesting. I've never that would be played cool. a game. Where like, you... say you're just driving through the wasteland, and like, crap, I ran out of gas. I have to, like, yeah. literally get on foot and go scavenge for gas and come back to my car. That yeah. sounds awesome. That's really cool. That's and if they do that. Maybe, like, every time you leave your base, you'll have, like, a, a little bit of fuel every time you yeah. leave. But I'm assuming you probably upgrade it and stuff because right. it says you start off and can completely Bigger customize this car your magnum opus and stuff yeah. like that which um so which uh based on the gameplay trailer there's a lot of driving which mm-hmm. reminded me definitely of rage if mm-hmm. you people remember that did you ever play rage i did not play rage i thought it was a fantastic game i enjoyed it i liked it mostly but um it was uh kind of an open world i wouldn't say like a giant open world but mm-hmm. it had to do with an apocalypse kind, of, kind of similar to borderlands yeah kind of graphics were really good yeah um anyways uh you get in kind of like a buggy like that and you drive from location to location and while you were driving in the buggy there was kind of car combat mm-hmm. which it kind of reminded me of that so i don't know about y'all but i've never really played a game where the car combat was just phenomenal mm-hmm. it's always like in gta it's just super hard to aim and shoot and stuff mm-hmm. so i really hope that they can really nail the car combat and i mm-hmm. think something that is making me think positively about it is like you were saying it just looks like a giant desert it looks like you're not just going to be running into walls and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it looks like, you know, you can actually take your time to maybe aim, jump to another car maybe, shoot out their tires or something, and yeah. not worry about, like, running into a wall from aiming and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. And there's, like, I saw when I was watching the trailer, there's weapons on, like, the outside of the car. So you can just, like, ram people and just kill them. Oh, that's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, they have, there's, like, 
like spikes guns on the front of the car and you just okay. explode them by running That's into That's awesome. Them. I also heard that you can actually take things off the car. Yeah, oh, really? and put on yeah. your own, right? I I don't know. Maybe you can take them off and use them as a weapon. But I heard somebody yeah. say something about like if you blow somebody's tire, that could change the physics of the car, so the mm-hmm. car will behave differently and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They were um, talking about in the trailer, game, just but... like there's ways to upgrade your car by finding parts. So. Yeah, by scavenging yeah. like materials for upgrades and stuff like that. So not only your car, your car is upgradable. But um, I think yourself is upgradable with um, abilities and stuff. I'm assuming, I don't know if you level up, maybe you just find materials to level up, but you can get perks and stuff that affect you. Maybe mm-hmm. you can have, of course, probably have higher health, more attacks, but I'm sure it'll get more creative and mm-hmm. stuff like that. They yeah. were also talking about how the uh, like your ammo and weapons are scarce as well. Yeah. So you have to find new ways to That's cool. attack. Because I'm, I'm assuming cool. it's going to be mainly the combat, and if you get a yeah. gun, everybody's going to be like... Yeah. crap you're probably not yeah, gonna have that much ammo when you do pick yeah it up. i'm sure there's not gonna be like a lot of gunfights and stuff like that but they go on to say so gas can't be super scarce because otherwise it would be a walking game instead of a driving yeah. game yeah that makes sense the on foot combat is similar to the arkham series but it's based on a rhythmic button presses counterattacks, and rolling away to dodge um this is a very hostile place and treacherous you will feel that but you'll be equipped to deal with it we want you to also allow we want to allow you to make choices and if you constantly choose to go in gung-ho without preparing yourself then obviously obviously you can give yourself a very hard gaming experience so potential mad max (laughs) gamers be warned this game ain't for the faint hearted which is something that i think is cool something i approve of that's something i dig yeah I enjoy challenging games because yes. games are too freaking easy these mm-hmm. days. And I think playing Blood Bloodborne is a fresh reminder me, of that. Yeah, realize that. So I'm totally good for getting my head smashed in with a wrench in Mad Max. If oh, I'm absolutely. Not I wonder if there'll be any right. stealth mechanics in the game. I don't know. Like sneak into like a uh, fortress or something. I figure they would have. Sh- it's kind of hard to there. sneak in if it's broad daylight yeah. from what they showed. It's true. Yeah, it does look like the sun's always out. We haven't seen any nighttime yeah. games. I I heard that there are different locations i don't think it's just the right. desert okay. i'm assuming you might go in places you mm-hmm. might get to another type of land or something like that mm-hmm. like i don't think there's any vegetation so i don't think you're going to be going to like to a forest level or something mm-hmm. but um i've never have you ever seen the mad max movies yeah i've seen one of them i've seen the very first one okay not any I've of the never, sequels i've though. never even seen them i don't know a movie. single thing about mad max i don't either so I'm assuming there might be like headquarters, like dudes make out of trash and stuff. It looks like almost, so you might be going to places yeah. like that. I mean, yeah, because the first Mad Max, uh, I mean, I won't spoil any of it, but there's no like, from what I remember, he, he's a cop, mm-hmm. and like stuff happens, and at the end he be, he's basically a badass by the end. Stuff happens, and he just like drives off in the distance. I'm pretty sure in the sequels is when it gets like way over the top and crazy how the new mm-hmm. one looks, which I'm super pumped for the new one. It looks yeah. fantastic, yeah. but uh. Um, I think after the first one is when it gets really insane, and the first one's kind of grounded, I think, from what I remember, but, uh, because I haven't seen the sec. I think there's th- th- four of them, three of them, maybe. Okay. I know there's at least... Oh my God. I know there's at least two of them after the first one, but, uh... <gasps> Um, yeah, so I haven't seen the sequels. I don't know if the, by then there's, like, headquarters and, like, bases and stuff. I mean, it looks like there's some kind of, like, big faction boss in the new movie. Yeah. yeah. I did read something about bosses. Mm-hmm. How I, there are bosses. I did read that. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they would implement them, but... I mean, I'm assuming you fight them. I mean, like, mechanic-wise. I wonder, I wonder what <laughs> they, they have, like, do. epic car boss battles. Yeah, or hand Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Big fat dudes, kind of mm-hmm. like in Shadow of Mordor. Yeah. I, I, I can imagine, like, finding battles. a huge, like, tank in the desert. You have to, like... Oh, I'm sure there'll be big boss that'd be, that'd be fights really like that cool. and stuff. Um, but this is made by Avalanche Studios, which are the creators of Just Cause. Oh, dude, no wonder it looks so awesome. Yeah. Now, who's working on Just Cause 3? Them. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, both games are coming out this year. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. I wow. think. I'm pretty sure it's the same dude. Is Just Cause coming out this year? Yeah. Have they confirmed that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there a date? I don't know. <laughs> oh. <I don't> know. <laughs> um, uh... But yeah, because that's even more. I'm gonna look this up play. real quick. If I know it's the same people making it, Avalanche Studios. Mm-hmm. That's, but um, that's quite the slate. So for some further discussion, um, while I'm looking this up, um, so Mad Max and Metal Gear Solid are coming out on the same day. Mm. What is a man to do? That's a great question. I don't have an answer. Um, I mean, I'm buying both of them. Yeah, I think we're all here <laughs> buying both, so... 
I mean, that's the thing. That just I, a matter I, of... As much as I'm like, oh, no, like, they're coming on the same day. I mean, I, my voice is just giving out more and more <laughs> of the talk. But uh, as much as I'm kind of like, oh, no, like, how am I going to manage the time? Like, I'm totally cool with, like, playing yeah. Mad Max for a couple hours and jumping over to Metal Gear for a yeah. few hours. Like, yeah, I love I'm, doing that's, that. That's what kind of gamer I am. I like yeah, to play something for a little bit and then take games. a break, do something else, then come right back to it. Yeah. Because I like being able to, like, look forward to the next part of it. Yeah. For sure. But, uh... What did y'all say? I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Just jumping in between... <laughs> just jumping in between Metal Gear and Mad Max yeah. sounds yeah, fun to me. Yeah, that... Oh, man, that's hard to do for me, Yeah, personally. you're one of those guys that just likes to sit down I and like to grind finish. through it. I'm yeah. like that. When I eat something, if I have, like, a burger and fries, I finish the burger... Then I eat the fries. I'm not I like to do it the opposite. I like same. to savor the best. Well, actually, I eat half the fries to kind of like whet the appetite, and then yeah. I like, and then I'll eat like half the burger and then nibble at some fries yeah. some more, then yeah, finish the burger and then finish the fries because I like to make it feel like I'm going in between through and like making it last a while. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I do. I can't. Yeah. I, I settle on. I like. I'll eat my burger. I'll eat my fries. Then I'll drink my drink. Like, wow. you drink your drink yeah. last. Oh yeah. Oh, I like gosh. to just. I like to let my food settle and take my drink. Man. Yeah, that's how. I like to take things one at a time, and I've always been like that. Jumping between games is just chaos to me. Like, it makes me feel chaotic. So I'm probably going to play metal gear solid probably mm-hmm. just because so I'm, I'm super pumped i really that have a sexual mm-hmm. attraction to that game oh, oh really yeah sounds like you have that a bit game. of an issue she must there. be nice oh really what i said she must be nice yeah well don't talk about her that way yeah. metal gear solid 5 the phantom pain yeah don't she, talk has, about she has a bizarre her. name i like but, her I mean, that's what you're into i like her <laughs> that's what i'm into very much so yeah i'll probably be end up end up playing a metal gear as well yeah that game is just i've been waiting for that game first mm-hmm. mad max is just all of a sudden intrigue me i'm like i really want that. one is we may see some like incredible demo at e3 that makes us like lose our minds yeah. for mad max so you never know I've, i'm already True. losing my mind for metal gear though ground mm. zeroes made me just oh i need that game mm. for what it was it was incredible i still oh, remember yeah. exactly how that game feels and like it takes a lot to make a game do that but like i remember exactly how it felt and like what it looked like and that's mm-hmm. why i'm super pumped for it yeah i'm psyched i'm buying both on the on that day but i'm I'm going to play Metal Gear Solid, and nothing else is really coming in that time. I have, like, a full, about two months it's, to really I mean, the next big thing would be, games. like, Halo, Call of Duty, and then Battlefront. Yeah, and I'm, like, and not that pumped for yeah. those games. I forgot so Assassin's I'm gonna Creed always comes out around that time, to too. Those. Holy crap. So I'm actually excited. Like, playing the Metal Gear Solid 5, I'm, like, after this, I have a completely different mm-hmm. giant open world game so i'm gonna be like excited playing metal gear solid 5 yeah. and knowing that even when i'm done with that which i'm no doubt gonna try my best to platinum and get every juice out of it and mm-hmm. it has multiplayer too which mm-hmm. i know i'm gonna play yeah. the crap out of i hope to play it with you guys too because i want to go Maybe. stealthy knocking people out with you guys what are we talking sure. about again knock yourself oh yeah, yeah yeah sorry i was <laughs> i was daydreaming about what i have to do in the morning okay but That's uh cool. I have to no go to work i don't know about you i have to go to the doctor okay that's yeah. exciting that's cool i'd rather go to work to be honest but oh really yeah. i'll trade you yeah <laughs> um so uh so yeah mad max is looking pretty freaking sweet for what we've seen so far is looking mm-hmm. pretty awesome it does look fun yeah I'm mad excited. max is indeed mad mm-hmm.